There's new analysis of New York City Police Department data reveals a majority of suspects from last summer's riots in New York City, they will not be charged. 118 arrests were made in the Bronx during the worst of the looting in June of last year, and 73 of those cases have already been dismissed. Of the 485 arrests in Manhattan, 222 cases have been dismissed. Our next guest watched as her store was destroyed by looters. Owner of Bronx Optical Center, Jessica Betancourt, joins us right now. Jessica, good morning to you. Good morning, Paul. Uh, the cover of the New York Post, let, let them loot, because apparently the DAs in New York uh, have gotten together and said, you know what, this is too complicated. We're not able to prove everybody was there, so let's just drop a lot of these cases. When you heard that, did you think they were kidding? I think it's just disgusting. It's outrageous the way we're getting treated. No one made an effort to even come to the stores and say, you know what, can I get some surveillance? Can I get some fingerprinting um, to see if we could catch these looters? No efforts were made by the city. Okay, well, that was after the fact. During the looting, did you feel like you were being protected by the police? Of course not. Of course not. I was told um, to, I did arrive in the middle of the looting um, to see if I could get inside my store. And the uh, cops told, um, told me, just go home. You have insurance and you'll be fine. You just come back in the morning. No protection at all. Well, and, and your insurance ultimately did help you reopen and you are reopened today. But there are a lot of companies, small mom and pop organizations, companies that didn't have insurance and they will never open up. You think that uh, the city administration tied the hands of a lot of police officers during the looting, right? Absolutely. I do not blame the NYPD. I blame the city, the officials, the uppers of the NYPDs because they didn't give them the support. They didn't give them the go ahead and make it and make it arrest, um, stop these looters. They were told just to stand back. Uh, according to the Post, in a memo, one of the uh, DAs says he tells his prosecutors that before dropping a case, they should review a criminal, uh, a defendant's criminal history and determine whether police could place the suspect at the scene. Most of them were actually arrested at the scene with bags full of stuff and whether the suspect caused any damage to the store. You wouldn't think that that would be hard, to, a, a, a very high bar to cross. That's an easy proof. Just yeah. go to the cameras. M many merchants have cameras inside their stores. They were, we are available to give the, um, the footage and no one came to us. Why do you think they're doing it? Maybe it's hard work for them, but what about us? We had a hard time getting back on our feet. Not everyone recovered. Like you mentioned, not everyone mm. has insurance and they're still struggling. If we were brushed off like nothing happened. It was too much work. Yes, they're going to cause it. Oh, the pandemic, the closures, and you're, there were people working from home mm -hmm. from the court system. Why cannot they? Why they didn't put yeah. a, a task force to tackle the, this problem? This yeah. is a problem. It is a problem because those people who did the looting, uh, if there are no consequences, don't you think they're going to think? I can do it again. This is free ride. You want to loot? Go ahead. Go for it because you're going to get away with it. And they, the looters know these are criminals yeah. out there knowing the system, and the system has failed us. New York is a crazy town. Uh, we've got a statement from the Bronx DA. We went forward with cases for which we had evidence and a complaining witness. Some cases were dismissed, but we held people accountable because we do not tolerate violence against Bronx business owners. Do you buy that? No, I don't. No, no efforts were made, period. This, let's be realistic. Yeah. We were looted. Nothing happened after that. We had to rebuild and we have to keep strong. And they didn't even reach out at all. Yeah. Well, we reached out to the Manhattan DA for a statement, but they did not get back to us. Jessica, good luck to you and your business, and we're glad you're reopened finally. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.